Looking for that perfect game for your gaming console? Video Game Corner is the largest independently owned video gaming store in North Mississippi, located at 1519 Highway 72 in Corinth. We are an authorized limited run retail store and have a massive collection of retro games and game systems and also plush toys and collectibles. We also pay top dollar for your used video games. Check them out Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Visit Video Game Corner in Corinth. Welcome to another Airsoft Owl Reviews. Today we are taking a look at, not a pew, not a, well, I might as well go ahead and say it now. We're taking a look at a camera attachment that honestly is actually being used by a lot of big name airsofters. And I didn't realize it until I actually looked into it. The biggest one that actually uses this is none other than Alphonse Airsoft. I recognize this when I kept seeing this one attachment on his P on his MP7, on his M249. I kept seeing this attachment and I kept trying to wonder exactly what it is. Now I could be wrong on a few of his camera attachments for a selfie camera, but in this case, I did a little bit more research and found out more than a few others also used it. I believe Brain Exploder also used it as well, but again I could be wrong. But the attachment I'm talking about today is none other than the action camera slash GoPro slash whatever Picatinny rail mount. <laughs> camera mount. Um, this thing goes by a lot of names, but you'd be able to find this as a Picatinny camera mount. And as the name suggests, it is, let me, let me just bring this closer so you can see it. It is a nylon, I believe nylon, just Picatinny camera mount. And it is, honest to God, one of those weird things of... I have no idea how to say it, but the cool thing about it is that this alone actually does come with its own Allen wrench, which, again, I'm very happy for. It does use standard screws, which, again, for the price tag it's asking, I, I could actually get behind because, again, I do like these types of screws. They're low profile. They're not sticking out like a regular camera mount would, uh, but, again, I, I don't know, but here's the thing. It also presents a cool opportunity as well because in terms of a camera mount, there's a lot of possibilities with this. And I even used it in the last game I was at when I had this attached to my helmet on the side, which you can see here. Let me know in the comment section down below if you actually like that or if you would like me to basically keep going with the standard GoPro attachment. But the cool thing about it is that, again, it's it presents a lot of possibilities. One of which being that, again, it's a Picatinny. If you have Picatinny on your gun, then it can basically be attached anywhere you want it to. You can even attach this to, say, a pistol and have a type of linking system where it actually comes out, you know, and you can have a selfie camera right there with you when you actually are firing your pistol, if you want to run pistol only, or let's say you have more than a few other things, which I'm actually going to go ahead and set this up and actually show you how to do it. But before I do that, let me go ahead and show you how this attaches to standard Picatinny. <laughs>
When I said you could do crazy things with this mount, I wasn't joking on that. Just, just, just... Look at this monstrosity that I've created. Right, back to the footage. <laughs> Look, you get what I'm saying, folks. The absolute insanity of this mount and the way it can be used is beyond comparison. If you have the imagination for it and you have the attachments like this right here for basically pistols, which I have no clue if I'm gonna run it like this on my pistol, I don't know. Um, I guess with the footage the way it is from the pistol, I'll let you decide whether I should run it like this or not, but this is extremely cursed, it really is. But in terms of an affordable polymer mount, because I have not yet found a metal mount like this, there are many pros and cons to it. One of the cons being if you are unimaginative and, of course, the polymer construction. Polymer has always been the big weak point when it comes to camera mounts because the weather, more or less. Polymer is a lot weaker than, say, metal attachments, which I'm hoping to get more of in the future to replace a lot, if not the majority, of my polymer linking points for my cameras, including, of course, my own GoPro's case. But, in terms of the pros, it's affordable. It is affordable at under $15. I'm not joking on that. That's the most I've seen this go for, and you can buy this, <laughs> if I don't drop it constantly, you can buy this mount at Walmart.com, Amazon.com, Evike, any other big sellers, which I will leave a link to this in the comment section down below in the pinned comment to where you can buy one yourself from Amazon where I got it. And it even comes with a combo pack for a, uh, for a helmet mount, an NVG mount for your GoPro, which honestly is pretty cool. Um, again, that depends on if YouTube doesn't have a conniption about it and censors this video, which with how many places I'm sharing this video at, I don't believe they could censor it, but again, we'll see how that goes. But what I will say is that this camera mount is worth the price of admission. I will be using this mount lord knows for a lot of things, especially when I finally get the metal case for my GoPro here off of Amazon.com as well. Um, the reason for that is because, once again, polymer has its place, but metal is superior. And that's the honest truth. Be they in camera attachments, pew attachments, gaming, or otherwise, metal has its place in the aftermarket. As always, ladies and gentlemen, I have said my piece. If you've owned this camera mount yourself, let me know in the comment section down below how well it's handled your stress and how well you've handled it. Or at least, you know, all that. And if you yourself have metal GoPro parts, let me know in the comment section down below how well they have withstood your, well, anything in comparison to your polymer parts for your cameras. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. And before I continue, I need to say that this video could not have been possible without the generous donators via our PayPal and even Amazon. It was actually the Amazon donators that allowed us to be able, well, allowed me to be able to review this product from Amazon. And I can't thank you guys enough. And again, if you want to help support the channel, PayPal is one of the ways you can do it. Or if you want to help support me directly, there, of course, is Amazon, as I stated before, where I have gotten this product from. And the link you can use down below to get it. And, again, if you want to help out that way, contact me via Discord down below. All links are in the pinned comment down below to where you can actually either donate directly with the PayPal or you can help donate directly to me via Amazon via the Discord down below. Uh, do know that this is not an affiliated uh, review, nor is the link down below affiliated. It's just, I want to share this product with you guys and actually let you know that this is honestly a really cool and really good product. And, um, that's about it. Thank you all very much for watching. As always, I've been Airsoft Al, and, well, the only other thing I can say about it is, because of its low profile versus other selfie camera mounts that you attaches to your pew, it's not going to get caught up on anything as bad as the other stuff. Till next time.